This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Right, so we are on our way as usual to uh, Manuscrew in Northampton, but actually we're stopping on the way for breakfast, as we should do on a Saturday. Uh, we are on our way to locals, we've obviously got the double locals today like we do normally, and it's also the Lightning Overdrive, I guess sneak event, I can't remember what they call them now, pre-release, pre something like that. People can get boxes, and the important thing with that is, people are opening product, which also means this man, yeah. may or may not be hunting for some new products. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what, what that goes like. It's always nice to see people cracking packs. Always fun to get involved in all of that. So we'll see about that. On that note, if you guys haven't seen, there is a giveaway on the channel. We've got a few days left of it at the time that this will go up. So make sure you go ahead and check out the video. I'll put a link on the screen any second now if I remember. But somewhere in this video, there'll be a link pop up to let you go see my box opening where I got sent some stuff by Konami. And one of those boxes is on the giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. And of course, if you're interested, keep watching this video because you'll probably see some pulls of what people are getting in their boxes and get an idea of what you've got a chance to get your hands on. But anyway, enough waffling, enough shilling from me. Let's go eat some breakfast. Left Capone is bringing anyone. But... Fine work of art. Let's see if we get demonetized. It's really early. I'm surprised I got here so fast. Me too, actually. So now we've got to sit out here and wait for Cuck Capone to turn up. Spaghetti boy making us wait outside for our food. Fuck Capone. Hope he loses all of his games. Oh. Why don't you answer your messages? I was fucking driving. No excuses. <laughs> Make us wait here hungry. Big boy's wasting away. I mean, I would have got here really fast if I'd have replied. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do a jam, you got to become an expert at that. Not that he does that, because that would be illegal. <laughs> what? Yeah, careful, what? careful <laughs> saying that in vlog, yeah? I've decided the jam can just sit on the end here. The big boy is flex on him by sitting right in the middle. Standard. We'll see how that goes down, shall <laughs> we? Yeah. See what he does. This absolute monster throws his tea bag in the hot water and then pours the milk in straight away. Look. Absolute monster, disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. 19 energy drinks before I went. What, and then went for a nap like Henman? <laughs> well, I've had a cheeky Red Bull, time for a nap. It's not the same without Jimmy's pancakes, is it? I mean, yours is a small breakfast this time. Hang on a minute. Capone got the same as me, and I got toast. Yeah, but his plate was stacked more. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Capone, off. Capone's eating half of this. Don't judge me. one down uh, we played against prank kids uh, game one I was going second so that was always gonna be an uphill battle um, although I could have played much smarter made a few missed plays I guess just a bit sleepy or whatever but uh, I knew what the correct plays were and just didn't do them anyway which I'm sure we've all had those moments and uh, 
I seem to love that. Sorry about whatever that noise is. Um, he had a defense position, prank it, I think the fire one, and a set card, and then the, the place. Um, I opened Lightning Storm and Duster, and then for some reason used the Lightning Storm on the background instead of the Duster, thinking that he couldn't fuse. Uh, I had the feeling, I was like, okay, he wants to fuse, but he can't do it because he only has one onto the field. I'm a fucking idiot because obviously he can fuse from hand, so that's exactly what he did. And then, of course, Duster does an out attack position battle butlers, so uh, pretty dumb of me, but there you go. So I misplayed that, and then on top of that, I then put my Rex uh, underneath the extra monster zone which stopped me being able to do the whole pentastag combo booking stuff down with uct and pushing for massive damage so a couple of really silly misplays there that were avoidable that probably would have put me in a better position not necessarily that i think it would have uh, won me anything but there you go uh, and then the game two uh, i had to uh, i went first and my opening hand was two gammas giant rex miscellaneous saurus and Two Gammas, Giant Rex, Miscellaneousaurus, Scythe, that was it. So my hand was uh, woeful to say the least. So it was basically UCT pass, uh, was about the height of it. And of course, that's probably not really enough to deal with them. What can you do? The second game, completely out of my control. The first one I fluffed, at least I won't do it next time, or at least so we hope. So uh, round one down, what can you do? We're still feeling okay, so let's see how the rest of it gets on. Ladies and gentlemen, when it rains, it pours. Um, another brick, another brick. What can you do? Uh, it never ever bricks, but when it does, my God, does it brick. Um, game one was, uh, sorry, round two. Game one was okay. Uh, we're against Cyber Dragon. Uh, I was made to go first. I couldn't make a insane board or anything, so I managed to break through, so that was fine. Again, it's what Cyber Dragon does, so uh, we expect with a half assed board that we're not going to go very far. In game two, we opened, uh, what was it? UCT, uh, Double Pot, uh, Animador Narcosaur, and Scythe. Like, okay, sure, we prosperity, right? We're definitely going to see an OV or a fossil dig. No. <laughs> we saw two drolls, a UCT, Miscellaneousaurus, and then some other irrelevant... Oh, terraforming. Unplayable. So, uh, we had the misc. Uh, we tried to do some things. We got ashed. And we end on... Uh, was it UCT? Basically, UCT Linkaribo pass, which... He then yeets my board... With lightning storm and uh yeah then he i was just like show me 8k show me 8k that's that so um this time no misplay so i don't feel particularly bad uh it was just bricking that's cost me so it happens and i know that it doesn't happen a lot with this deck so i'm not looking too much into it it's not that i've done anything wrong it's just variance it happens it's out of your control tuesday i had it all go my way today we're having none so <sighs> Yu -Gi -Oh. So round three down of Locals 1, uh, we played against Jam, which you'll have seen. Of course, it's largely irrelevant because all the cards end up in his pocket anyway, unless I pull something particularly high value, and then we saw that out, but that's a story for another day. So um, game one, I opened the OTK, um, basically, and then, of course, I scythe him. Game two, he opens an OTK after I brick, and then game three, uh, I opened an OTK and scythe him. So uh, it was over in about 12 minutes altogether. It took more time siding and shuffling than it did the actual games. So we're off for a short break now, because technically it's another locals we're going to, you know, it's at the same place, um, you know, and all of that nonsense that we need to uh, split up a bit of time, make sure everything can get deep cleaned. We go off 
for some lunch theoretically, although we don't really need to eat one, so probably not. Um, and chill for an hour or so before we come back for part two. <laughs> it's just so obnoxiously loud and going round in circles. I don't even think it knows where it's going. <laughs> Work of art being admired. There's only so much I can risk demonetization. <laughs> That's gone far enough. They're so bad, honestly. It'd probably get past the pillar. <laughs> Just I can't make eye contact with it. One huge pixelation square. <laughs> it's back again. It just keeps turning round. I think one of us is dying. They've predicted it. They're like ahead of the curve. Uh, there's been some additions to the artwork. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I know fuck all about Digimon, but apparently he's pulled some okay stuff. Secret rare, uh, alternate art, it's pretty good. Yeah? Look yeah. so this guy, biggest yeah. sick yeah. Team yeah. Samurai fan yeah. in the world. We don't have to move, result. Who's Joe? Never heard of him. Woe is me, ladies and gentlemen. We continue with the bricking fest. You'll have probably just seen my hand. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Nothing. Um, so we were against the round one of locals number two. We've had to skip ahead because we went to time. Uh, I beat Rob in time. Uh, he was playing Unchained. Very, very, very tight game. I was lucky to just sort of snatch it at the end there. Uh, getting kind of bricky, but it was fine. Um, and then game uh, match two was against Invoke Shadol, which of course is one of those matchups that a lot of people are playing so I've got a lot of side options for that um, so game one was um, all him uh, well I say it was all him it was it was a bit back and forth we had a lot of the advantage so we just accepted the loss there and then uh, round two I make him go um, I make him go second and the hand you will have seen is what you've seen there uh, we draw into Ash the second Ash uh, then we draw into um, wherever we drew into. You'll see it on the screen, in order. But yeah, it wasn't very good. I basically stalled for like six turns and then just hoped to survive. Uh, Imperial Order went up at one point to just keep me going. Uh, and then we eventually just crumbled because we just didn't get anywhere. So, unfortunate. But we go in and our next round will definitely be against Capoli because uh, we're on a four-man pod. Uh, so yeah, Capoli next. We'll see what happens. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute ass hattery. I don't know whose cornflakes I've pissed in in a past life, but someone's, because I have bricked virtually every single game with fucking dinos. How does that happen? Lord only knows. One or two times you could say I bricked on side deck cards, but the point is that I didn't take out any engine cards and I still didn't see what I needed to see. So, it's not because of that at all. We've seen virtually no overwrap, because we've been seeing no fossil digs. Uh, and then when we have, we've been unfortunate and we're playing against people with like fucking dimension shifters and shit like that. So uh, unfortunately, it's just been one of those days. The variance has just not been on my side and I'm sure the next locals will be here and I'm sure I will just open the stones every game. So what can you do? Nothing. So no point getting salty about it. No point getting stressed about it. It is what it is. It's a deck I know reasonably well, well enough to, to be good players, to be good decks. It's just been unfortunate. So say lovely so uh we we continue on and uh we uh, there's a, the road closure sure that's that's always cool thanks i guess this is what the helicopter was flying around for this is an absolute new one i wonder if you can see that i don't know uh amazing sure okay uh cool so we're off on our way home watch the football hopefully watch chelsea get absolutely slapped around for the champions league final and uh yeah so we'll see you in the next one